Welcome to the de Havilland Aircraft Museum. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the essentials for any aircraft, having enough fuel. The de Havilland Mosquito is powered by two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines. Each of those engines is 27 litres, so they're going to burn a lot of fuel. Not only that, but the Mosquito was designed to have a range of 1,500 miles. So you need a lot of fuel. So where are you going to put that? So not only have you got to find somewhere to put that fuel, but as that fuel gets used up, your plane is going to get lighter. So you don't want to do that at the front or the back of the plane. So the most obvious place to put the fuel is in the wings. And the Mosquito had two inner wing tanks of over 280 gallons. But that's not even going to be enough. It's many, many times more than you have in your car, but you still need more. So in order to do that, they're going to put additional tanks in the outer wing, which is another over 100 gallons in each of the outer wing tanks as well. So far then, we've got 400 gallons, maybe a bit more. But even that's not necessarily going to be enough. So in the Mosquito, they also added yet more fuel tanks in the very middle of the aeroplane, just above the bomb bay. Some Mosquitoes were also equipped with long-range fuel tanks. And if that wasn't enough, the later versions of Mosquito were also equipped with hard points and those were used for drop tanks. So this is an example of the type of drop tank that was carried on a Mosquito. Some of them were carrying 50 gallons, others 100, others could be as much as 200 gallons. These fuel tanks were used during the beginning of the flight once they've been emptied out, they would just be dropped off the aircraft to save weight. Here's another example of the Mosquito drop tank. So you can actually see how this one has been constructed. This particular one is making use of bands of plywood banded across to give the basic shape. Others were made out of paper mache. These were very much disposable objects. So there's not many of them still around. So this is quite a rare artifact for us to have at the museum. So next time you're at the de Havilland Aircraft Museum, by all means enjoy having a look at the various types of aircraft, not only mosquitoes, but many others that we have at the museum. But as you do so, have a look at the engines and think about how have they fueled them? And where have they put those fuel tanks? See you at the museum.